Cognac, yak. It's the Cognac King. Cognac in the culture. VSOP got the Henny in the back. He's smoking. Ain't no time for games, cause I'm on the rise. Cognac King, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cognac King, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, everyone? I'm your host, the Black Cognac King. I want to welcome you to the second season of Cognac and Culture. Make sure to click the like button, subscribe, follow on IG at Cognac underscore and underscore culture. The goal of this show is to bring awareness to Cognacs that you might not be familiar with. Before we go further, we're going to talk about how to properly drink a Cognac. As you see, we drinking in glasses over here. Don't drink your cognac in the red cup. Our model for the show is cognac is not a red cup drink. Unless you at a cookout or something, you in the house, make sure you put your cognac in the glass. Don't disrespect the drink. Now, it's three ways to properly drink a cognac. The first way we got over here, we got snifters. These snifters are used if you want to take in the aromas of the cognac. They have wide nose and that's, when, that's meant to take in the aromas. The second way to drink a cognac is with ice or on the rocks. The third way to drink a cognac is in a cocktail form. Let's go over the pros and cons of drinking each way. If you're drinking straight, the pros of drinking straight is you get to properly taste the cognac and you can take in the aromas with no dilution. The con of that is if you're drinking it straight, if it got a little burn or sting to you, it can put some hair on your chest. The second way is on the rocks. The pros to drinking on the rocks is it takes a little bit of the burn off of the drink. The cons to drinking on the rocks is if you drink on the rocks and you got too much ice, it can dilute the drink. So I would advise that you invest in some large ice cubes, like big enough where you can just use one cube in your drink. The last way is in a cocktail form. Now in the cocktail form, the pros of drinking is, it's just like with anything else. If it's bad, you mix it up, it can then taste good and match the taste of it. The cons of that is, if you put it in a cocktail, you can't really properly taste the drink or you can't take in the aromas. So enough of all that. Now we are gonna get into rating some cognacs. So I got a few guests with me right here. I got Butterman and I got my man Maserati J. We about to rate Hennessy XO, Duce XO, and Valone. We start every show off with a shot. So join me, take a shot with me. Sorry, that coach. So, so hold on, before you start, what's, what's the difference between um, like XO and VSOP? Like what's the difference? All right, that's a good question. You got VS, you got VSOP and XO. VS, which stands for very superior, is a younger cognac which has been aged at least two years in uh, oak, French oak barrels. You have VSOPs, which stands for very superior old pill, which have been aged at least four years in oak barrels. And you have XOs, which, are, which stands for extra old pill, which have been aged at least six years. The first one of these I'm gonna start with is going to be the Hennessy XO. Hennessy XO, a little history behind it, it was created in 1870 by Maurice Hennessy for his circle of friends, and it was aged in young burrows. And it's blended from specially selected grapes from other vineyards and aged up to 70 years. So we have our mixologist, Missouri, who's pouring us up some Hennessy XO. Missouri, tell the people where they can reach you at. So my social media handle is Missouri Tropical Blends on Instagram, and please follow. All right, so I got a question for y'all. What's the first cognac you ever tasted? My first cognac, Remy. Remy? Remy. All right, you had a little bit of money when you first started drinking cognac. What about you? I don't know what, uh, is Crown Royal a, a cognac? I don't I know. Think that's a good question though. I think it might be a brandy, but I think Oh yeah, it might be, a, I think it's a brandy. I don't want you know, I'm, but, I'm, I'm here to learn, but I'm saying if that ain't, if that ain't a cognac, mm -hmm. then my first cognac was Hennessy, you know, the Tupac juice. My you first know. one. No, wait, wait, wait. Cause I might got my first one might be your first one. It wasn't that Paul Masson. Is that a cognac? Yeah, 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 yeah. Paul yeah, 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 yeah. that was my first jump. We yeah, had a song yeah, about yeah. it and all that. 
I was irking jerk. Irking jerk? Yeah. 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 It might be a toss up. I don't know which one was so, first. Paul Masson or Irking Jerk, but yeah. all of them the same to me. It was all a blur. The high right. school blur. <laughs> right. So, yeah, that was my first one. You know, as you see, we done, we done upgraded past that. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and take these. All right. So, when we taking these, we going first, we going we to gonna smell for the aromas in it. All right, so that's what these for. These is a uh, snifter, so they got the wide notes so you can take in the room. Mm -hmm. So when you smell, what you what you get? Uh, to me, it's jive fruity. I smell like a sweet, yeah, like a sweet smell. Okay. What you think, Jay? It's like I'm getting like clean, but I'm getting like I don't know lemonish. So I get the fruit, but I also. I, I get, I smell leather. You uh, smell leather? No. You think that would be good <laughs> going in your system? <laughs> <laughs> so, what it say is, it say, the bottle say it got leather, fruit, oak, and spices. And it was funny because usually I never smell what's in the bottle. Mm -hmm. But this time I was like, I was like, this smelled like some fresh leather. And I was being funny. <laughs> and then when I looked at it, Real, it actually said it smelled like some fresh leather. All right, so we gonna taste it. So those that watched the first season, we rate on the mellow meter. I'm All right, some hair on my chest. I bought that back yeah. for y'all too. He asked that out, I bought that back. We still wanna do the, the mellow meter. He did, he did. So on the mellow meter, we rate for smoothness. So you got, the first one, which is put some hand on your chest if it if it burn, then we got slight burn, then we got smooth like water. Okay. So yeah, so we're gonna rate these on smooth the Smooth like way. butter, because butter man on it. So it's right, so like butter. butter man, for butter man, we smooth like butter this episode. <laughs> All right, let's see. How you feel about that? This thing smooth like butter. I ain't gonna hold it. This thing smooth, smooth like butter. Though. This thing smooth. That shot we took, uh, that shot we took earlier, that was more like on the hair on the chest side. What do you think? But this right here smooth like butter to me. You think this? You think the shot was? What we giving the shot of? Um, that was the Martell XL. Oh, okay, you said the Martell XL put some hair on your chest. I ain't put no hair on my chest, but it was definitely burning more than this. Oh, okay. I just this one had like more of a uh, after a after hit. After hit, yeah. smooth going down with an after hit. It got a small little bite, but it, then it's smooth after that. It got an initial little sting, then after that, it's pretty good. All right, so, it's, could you actually taste what it tastes like, not even just rating it off the uh, smoothness? No, I don't taste no level, but since you said it, it made me feel like I taste some level, but I don't think so. Okay, so, the bottle say, wood chips, <laughs> aftertaste <laughs> of cinnamon, and vanilla. See what I'm saying? I got that after hit. I had that yeah. After hit. yeah, I got it. So yeah, what you saying? Cinnamon. Had that cinnamon <laughs> hit. Cinnamon mm. hit. Mm. All right. I like it though. That's something I buy. Okay. You know You'll keep that in mind. We're going to finish this up. Then the next one we're going to do, we're going to do the Douce XO. All right. So quick history behind the Douce XO. Douce XO aged for a minimum of 10 years. All right. It's an XO, extra old, and it's owned by Jay Z. All right. So while we get so while we get pulled up, I got another question for y'all. What age were you when you started drinking? When I when I when I took my first drink, Remy, I was twelve. Twelve. I was about twelve. Yeah. The first year for my first age, drinking or drinking cognac? Drinking. So drinking, I probably was like, like drinking, I probably was like five. Man. Because my grandmother used to drink and she used to sit her uh, cup on a, on a, um, on a uh, wash and dry. And the wash and dry was in her kitchen. So she would sit the drink down in it and all her cups looked the same. So the first time I went, thought I was had my drink and drunk her drink halfway through that drunk, my, my chest was on fire. I'm like, man, what's this? Old time, it was her drink. But don't nobody know, and it's first revealed on Cognac and Culture. Hey. Every time I would go hit her little cup, boom, I would hit her little cup, and I probably was like five, six, something like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
you know, I wasn't like no no alcoholic, but I do remember my first time drinking. I was super, super young, but it was on accident. You know what I'm saying? We like to drink responsible. So make sure you put your drinks up around minus. They might get in your cup. And then you got a five year old getting hair on their chest drinking your drink. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. That, 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 that really, that really smell, feel like a hair on the chest. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an apple suit. Hair on the chest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. talk about that. I got to make sure I plug the supply of the liquor. Relax. Do say XO. They got the cheapest prices. I know $129 for the bottle. So if you like Do say XO, Go to Lax, 129 for the bottle. All right, so let's go ahead, hit this. All right, so. so what kind of cup is this? This is a shot glass. You know, again, you notice no plastic, no red cups, all shots and glasses. That's how we do over here. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see what this smelling on. I smell floral. What about you? Smell like smell like some hair on the chair. Smell like hair. Smell like hair. Smell like hair. Yeah, that thing smell like hair on the chair. Smell like some hair on the chair. Oh, hey, that's yeah, a good one. I'm going with my this man. Hey, it like, yeah, it smells this, like some ham on the chip. This, this, this jigger right here. The key with a thousand, this jazz smell like rubber alcohol. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Right so we're about right. to take a shot. Let's, let's toast take to the shots, shot, man. Yeah, every, time yeah. we, every time we take a shot, man, let's right. toast, man. Right. Toast to prosperity. Prosperity. Oh, that Jones all right. Well, I can say, it smells like hair on the chest. But it ain't hitting like hand on the chest, don't give it smooth. Yeah, it doesn't move smooth. like water. Smooth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's almost smoother than the last joint. I ain't gonna yeah. hold it. Yeah, it was smooth. It, it was, was smooth. smooth. It was smooth than the last one. It was smooth like water. All right, so the aromas, when you smell this, you're supposed to smell floral and dried fruits of, dried fruit notes of blackberry, apricot, layered with hints of dark chocolate. Did y'all smell any of that? Now that, you, now that you say it, yeah, like maybe the dark chocolate, what? Cause you said the rubbing huh? alcohol. He said, what do you say? It smell like hell your chest. Like, it tastes like, like, like chocolate shit. though. <laughs> and then the taste of it is supposed to be wood and spice with a balanced finish. So when you drank it, did you taste any wood and spice? No, nah, but it definitely had a balanced finish though. I don't think I, I don't know what wood or and spice tastes like, but <laughs> it, <laughs> right. it, it had a balanced finish. I think it was definitely smooth. Yeah, that shit was smooth. All right, cool. The last one we the last one we rate is Balloon. This is Rick Ross Cognac. It's a VSOP, very superior old pill, aged for at least four years. Little history behind it. It's named after legendary poet Francois Balloon and made from a base of fine VSOP and XO cognacs. Rating these three cognacs, how would you rate them in order of your favorite to your most favorite? I'll start with you, Jay. Do say, do say number one for me. Do say number one. Then which one? Number two. What's the other one? Henny. Henny XO. Number two, yeah. And then that Ross. Ross ain't even. What about you? <laughs> Definitely in that order. The do say, the do say was the smoothest, the best, then the, um, the one that came, the, uh, the Henny, and then the uh, Rosé followed behind that, but way behind that. So Missouri pouring us up some cocktails. What's this cocktail you, you made up for us? So this is the Ballon Berry. The Ballon Berry, what's in the Ballon Berry? So we have um, equal parts of cranberry and pineapple juice, um, top with a little sweet and sour. Okay. All right. All right. Let's let's see what this balloon berry hitting on. We ain't gotta worry about no notes because it's already shit mixed up in it. So we just gonna taste it. Okay. Hey, shout out Missouri. She saved the day with that balloon because this is good. How you feel? No, no, that's official. Everybody. This official. I drink that all day. So that balloon, in my opinion, if you get it. 
make sure you drink that in a cocktail. In a cocktail, that, that sweetness and everything, it, it, it go real good. What do you enjoy about drinking? Like, you know what I'm saying? When you drink, what's your reason for drinking? When you drink? Um, my, my reason for drinking is my how it make me feel. And it's socially uh, acceptable. You know, we social people, everybody wanna be accepted. So I like the social discord and we all get drunk and be laughing to put everybody on the same level. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't drinking and everybody drunk, you looking at everybody crazy, you just like, okay. But I mean, I like the way it make me feel, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not in the morning though, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you gotta, it gotta at least be dark outside before you have your drink. Absolutely not. Okay. I can, I can go with that. I just, I'm gonna just drink however, however it comes, you know what I'm saying? I drink to accomplish in land days, but if it's a, uh, it don't matter what time it is, you know, me and my man, we be looking at a property. Me and my man, Jake, we looking at a property one time. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> He pull up, he pull up in the jump, you know what I'm saying? He pull up in the miles of Rowdy and everything, he hop up. But I'm I'm right there with the, you know, with the with the white dude. You know, I got my regular voice on, you know, I got my, my, my library voice with the dude. And he pull up, shades on, red cup in his hand. So we went through the property and everything. And um the dude called me back, the white dude called me back. He like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He like, um, you know, you know that guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, you know, he associate of mine, you know, I, 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 know, I know him, but I, I want to hear what he says, so I know him more. But he like, I mean, well, I, well, you can do with this whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? But did, did you notice anything about your friend? I was like, what? He was like, I mean, he had a cup in his hand, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, yeah, a cup. He was like, and I talked to him close up, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm like, you know, he was like, it, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, but you can do whatever that whatever you want to, but I'm just I'm just saying, my brother, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, he don't know that when he left, I told him, pull me up a cup, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you, I, just, I just drink the different type of motions, man. You know what I'm saying? For me. That's because they don't really like, they don't really understand on how it is that it's common to be sipping, you know what I'm saying, at a 12, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, you know what I mean? People do all around, but they, they ain't really in our culture, so they don't really, they don't really catch it like that. That's my thing. Right. You still handle your business though, right? Hey, but see, he don't even know. Listen, sell that, sell that right there, boom. That's an easy 15 profit right there. He don't even, you know, so they ain't focus on that part. They just looking on. They judging. Exactly. Just from so, the outside the whole time. 15,000 in 10 minutes. So when you drink, how you normally drink? You normally drink on rocks, meat, cocktails. How you normally drink? I drink, I drink, I drink regular, but right on a, on a, you yeah. know, daily basis, right? Like I'm, I'm sitting down somewhere, I'm on the rocks, but. Okay. What about you? Um, I drink according to if, if it's, if I pay for it or if somebody else drinking. So, <clears throat> if you bought it to the table, I'm drinking the however you drink it. If I if I bought it, you know, I'm just I'm gonna go tequila with some ice, depending on what I, you know, with the what I'm drinking. Um I do the cognac on the rock. So I'm gonna drink it straight on the rocks if I bought it. Or if I'm if I'm going somewhere and I know the party start at, you know, at, at twelve, you know, and it's eleven thirty, I'm up I'm sipping, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink it straight. I'm gonna make sure I get, you know, ready for the party, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm a very young drinker, for quick. So even though I might be a cognac drinker, I'm gonna put you on to a tequila. Michael Jordan got one, Sancoro. Drink the Sancoro Reposado, mm -hmm. smooth like water. And I don't even like tequila. Tequila's to me, nasty, for real. Mm -hmm. But that one is smooth like water. When you choose a drink, what's one of the deciding factors? Whether it was its price, whether it's how the bottle look, like in your case, you saying even the person that's behind the drink. So what's your what's your main reason you, you choose a drink? You choose it? The person that's behind the drink, definitely. Uh, or the person that introduced me to the drink. Mm -hmm. um, and the price of the drink used to, it used to play a factor, but you know, I'm having my way now. So it don't matter what it called. If I like it, I'm gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? What about you, Jeff? Move on how I feel. You know what I'm saying? We go with day to day change. So, depending on how I feel on the day, rather than celebrating or I'm just going through a regular day, that depends on what you have to move in a minute, sir. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, we got a segment here where we got our business owners 
Y'all got one minute, do your business pitch, let the people know where they can reach you at, do your whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so right. we gonna do something special on Black Friday. Black Friday, I'm gonna take 10 people one-on-one for $250. I'm gonna show you everything on how to wholesale real estate, how to get the properties under contract, where to find buyers at, how to get them gone, and then, you know, how to do five to 10 deals a month. Easy. What's going on is Nathan Shaw, AKA Big Snow out of Quarter Ticket Club. I'm here with my man, the Black Cognac King. It's Cognac and Culture. Listen, come join the Quarter Ticket Club. I'm the spearhead of the Quarter Ticket Club, but the Quarter Ticket Club ain't just me. The Quarter Ticket Club is everybody, where all bosses are created equal. Check this out. If you want to get out of the rat race, I need you to think about something. I'm going to leave you with this. You got modern day slavery going on. If you have to work, you are a slave. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying this in a negative manner. If you have to work, come to the quarter ticket club. We're going to love you out. All right, that's it for today's episode. Make sure to click the like button, follow the page on IG, subscribe to the channel, and remember, cognac is not a red cup drink.